Okay, and now right now we are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do we know you? I love it. <laughs> Oh my God, this has been my life's dream to be able to see out of symbol. It is magnificent. Movement, exactly. Him and his boys. Yeah. So this is the first time artists show dynamic in ancient Asia. So this is 1200 BC. Yeah, 1200 BC. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, so while many years ago, around the 1950s, when they were going to be building the canal, or uh, they, Abu Simbel was located, you know, in Nubian territory, right where they were going to build a dam. So what they did was that they cut all of the stone, what do you call, fixture around the Abu Simbel temple, and they transported it here. So they had some type of a competition as to who could invent a saw, kind of like a, a sound a saw that could cut through stone. And so that's what they did. They actually cut piece by piece the stone and they moved the entire temple from what is now like 200 feet under the water all the way over to this area. And the mountain that's covering this is actually an artificial mountain. So they built everything here. So everything that was in the temple there, including the contents inside, was transported. And it took them like about four years to do this. So uh, the same thing over there with the um, temple of Nefertari. 
and uh, Nefertari was the favorite wife of Ramses II. Apparently he had something like 32 wives and 64 children, but Nefertari was his favorite wife and he built this temple for Nefertari. So we're going to go in and see that. We're going to go in first to see the main thing because this has been my dream to always see uh, Abu Simbel come along. And now, right now, we are. <laughs> Thank you. We know you. I love it. I just saw you going. No, the thing is that you look like a friend of ours. Yeah, that's that's okay. I love it. Thank you. And it's going to be doing that. <laughs> no, you're distracting me. <laughs> Thank you. That was funny. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you too. So, right now, we are in the facade, the front part of uh, Abu Simbel. And these four statues are the statues of Ramses II. He apparently uh, reigned for about, he was 90 years old when he died, so he ruled a long, long time. And what the artists wanted to do was depict him at various stages of his life. So on the left-hand side is when he was young, up to the time when he was old. Now we are inside the temple of Abu Simbel and on inside there is a big hall with about eight statues and all of them are of Ramses II. He really loved himself <laughs> and it's amazing these statues. But there was one such a This is uh, mind boggling. Let's go into the side. Let's see what's in here. Whoa. I love all these secret rooms. This is priceless. How they put this together is beyond. Thank you. 
Juan Méndez. Let's go this way. So you're going to come this way. So right behind me is the four statues, which is something very, very unusual. You only see these type of statues with Ramses temples outside of Egypt proper. Because the first one is the god of darkness, Ha, on the left hand side. And then you have the sun god, uh, Amun Ra. The third one is a deification of uh, Ramses II. And then the fourth one, I'm not too sure who he is. But Two times a year, on February 22nd and October 22nd, the sun actually comes through there and hits the three, what do you call it, uh, gods. Uh, it, the light shows on them. So it actually just specifics only two times out of the year. And they did this with special calculations, which really is amazing. Okay, there are just so many hieroglyphics here and so many uh, depictions of past battles and things. But this one is particularly interesting because it shows the son of Ramses II doing battle with the enemies, one of the enemies of Egypt. And he's killing this guy. He's already stepped over the body of someone he's already killed. And then this guy over there is someone who's just about to meet his maker. <laughs> And it chooses for 3,000 years, it has been over here and the stone has never left. And it chooses the exact moment that you walk by to fall. Ah, uh, no, much me, my mademoiselle. This is not, this is not an uh, accident. It is deliberate. Someone tried to kill you. <laughs> Okay, so now 
After we saw the most amazing Abu Simbel temple, we are now here at the temple of uh, Nefertiri. Nefertiri, again, was the favorite wife of uh, Ramses II. In the outside, you'll see six statues. Four of them are about Ramses II, and two of them are about Nefertiri. So, just saying. Let's go. Look at this. 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 Look Here's someone getting it. Someone's meeting their mate. Wow. Let's go to the side rooms again, like we did before. Okay, so we've just finished the tour of the temple of Nefertari, and it was amazing. Again, it was built by Ramses II to honor his favorite wife, but of course it was a lot smaller than uh, the temple for that. And look at these pictures. So anyway, I wanted to say they were like uh, six statues. So this one here is Ramses. This one's Nefertari. The one over there is Ramses, and if we go over there to this side, you can't see it. If we back up, that one's uh, Ramses and Nefertiri and Ramses. So, two statues for Nefertiri, four for Ramses the second. So did that meet your expectations, Adam? It uh, more than met my expectation. In fact, it went beyond my expectation. Because you have to understand this is a childhood dream. Ever since I saw Death on the Nile, you know, I just had to come see this place. And it was even more spectacular than and just knowing the history behind it. Because we have an excellent guy. Um, yes, that makes all the difference.